Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about LCX. So with that being said, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. So with that being said, LCX has absolutely skyrocketed. It has exploded off of the lows and we have been addressing LCX for a bit of time on the channel. We've been talking about LCX for over two years now. And in that time, we have also witnessed the team expanding on their original vision, continuing to improve the overall products that they have. And uh, that has all led to where we are at right now, which is LCX front running most of the altcoin market, having a 1000% plus trading volume surge, and of course, having a 37% gain on the one day span, on the seven day span, 65, almost 66%, one month up about 100 and almost 67%. And then on the one year span, it's up about 100% since going all the way back to January, we had that uh, Davos pump as well. But for the most part, LCX has been doing very, very well. Now we do need to be cautious at this time uh, because we are hitting some significant levels of uh, supply zones, meaning anywhere between like 35 to like 40 some cents, it's going to be a little bit of a rough time for LCX. Now, it has been having a great move to the upside, so major pullbacks along the way are 100% um, normal, and they will happen. So if I was to say, hey, would I be buying LCX right now at the current price that you see on the chart, which by the way, by the time that this does go live, this is probably going to change, I would say probably not, simply because of volatility in the market, anything can happen. We could have a major sell-off, we could have a pullback, whatever the case may be. Um, but I did address a lot of great buy opportunities on LCX. I was buying heavily during the summer of 2022. And then just recently in the fall, I was buying LCX as well, which I did tell you guys about. Um, I think that a lot of people were uh, kind of scared to buy LCX during that time because there was so much FUD. And that's usually the best time to be buying altcoins um, that are extremely overlooked and undervalued. Now. With that in mind, if you guys did want to go check out a lot of my LCX videos, I have a full playlist of 80 videos over two years talking about LCX and why I believe that LCX is going to be a major winner in this space. Now, outside of this, let's talk about a few things happening around LCX. Number one, let's talk about why people should choose LCX. They actually put out this post and it seems as though they are kicking up marketing a little bit. We have crypto can be confusing, but choosing the right platform shouldn't be. Here's why LCX stands out from the crowd. And it really just starts with security and compliance, right? It's regulated by Liechtenstein, a leader in blockchain laws, nine blockchain registrations for maximum security and transparency, top-notch custody solutions to keep your assets safe, built for investors, advanced trading tools and features for the pros, access to exclusive investment opportunities, more than just trading, compliant token sale, services, secure vault storage for your digital assets, supports tokenization and launched LCX Earn and Diamonds. Community matters as well, active and engaged community of crypto enthusiasts, uh, regular events, meetups, and educational resources, a dedicated team that listens to your feedback. Future of finance, pioneering new technologies and pushing the boundaries of crypto, we are committed to building a regulated and inclusive crypto ecosystem supporting the crypto integrity. Now, like I said, seems a little bit marketing, right? Like this is uh, more marketing than, you know, giving us some full on in-depth viewpoints, but we already know we've done a lot of research on the actual exchange itself. Um, it is one of the most compliant and regulated exchanges out there, at least outside of the US. Um, and I do think that L6 is going to continue to be compliant and continue to push the boundaries because they do want to become um, a blockchain bank eventually as well. That's in their uh, goals, but we don't know when that's going to happen. There's still a lot of uh, concern around, you know, blockchain banking and things like that. But I do think that the future is going to be digital asset banks. Um, Telcoin is actually on par with that as well. And I do think that LCX has been focused on that for a while. Uh, it's been on their roadmap since I want to go... I want to say going all the way back to 2021. Uh, so it's been in the works. But outside of that, tokenization. I think another big reason why LCX has been seeing um, a major surge is the viewpoint on tokenization. We have tokenize your assets and unlock new opportunities. Issue your digital asset on the blockchain. LCX is a leading fintech company that offers a comprehensive tokenization platform. We help businesses and individuals to tokenize their assets, including real estate, art, luxury goods, and more. Tokenization allows you to digitize your assets and represent them on a blockchain, which opens up a world of new possibilities. And if you guys do go look at the products, 
They do have Timons by LCX. That is a big one um, that everyone has been focused on. It's tokenized diamonds. It's pretty cool. Um, diverse. It's, it's a very diverse and cool way of uh, utilizing tokenization because we didn't really see a lot of that um, at the time where LCX was really kind of focused on tokenized diamonds. But beyond that, tokenization services, it's blowing up. I don't think that I need to tell you guys that tokenization has become one of the largest trends around uh, crypto in just the last couple months and even the last year alone. It's a spotlighted one, especially by traditional financial giants. And talking about tokenization, big shout out to, um, and he's actually under this post, Prince of LCX, LCX underscore Prince. He posted this. There's two images here, and it's actually the ecosystem overview. So for those that are unaware of the actual ecosystem around LCX, it's very vast. You have timings, you have earnings, uh, tokenization and STO, exchange itself, custody, leech and sign protocol, regulatory and compliance, and then legal partners. So if we actually look at timings, you have the tokenized diamonds, which are NFTs, tokenized diamond trading, insured and redeemable. And then you have earns, right? So this is the earn aspect. So there is tokenized bonds already on LCX. Um, they were one of the first major players in the tokenized bonds space, especially over in Europe. Uh, that launched around, I want to say January of 2023, somewhere around January, March, 7% um, on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Euro, um, and even LCX. Licensed by the ESMA. And then, of course, we have tokenization and STO listing at LCX, asset tokenization, investor onboarding, compliance and regu regulator, sorry, regulator uh, registration, uh, token creation, marketing, legal documents, and legal protection. Then on the left side, we have exchange, Mika ready, separated assets. Um, and then also tokenized asset trading. And there's a lot more on here, obviously, but this is the overall actual ecosystem overview of what they offer, what they have. And the big focus should actually be regulatory and compliance, which is at the forefront of LCX. And I think that that is something that a lot of people overlook because, you know, it's hard to, to become a regula regulated and compliant exchange. I mean, when we really look at exchanges, so one of the big arguments around LCX is that, they're not as high quality as Binance or Coinbase and things like that. Well, yeah, they're not going to be because guess what? At the end of the day, LCX is still very well early into this market. But also beyond that, when we when we talk about a lot of these exchanges, these exchanges started when there wasn't a big focus on regulations and compliance. For example, Binance. Binance, they got wealthy so damn fast because back in 2017, 2018, they surged to be in the number one exchange and they held that title forever since then. Uh, they have become a giant with 24 hour trading volume at $12.2 billion. Imagine how much fees they're collecting. They have a ton of money. LCX is still a small time player, but again, when we really look at LCX, they have been leading the way and they've been becoming a big player in the regulated and compliance side of exchanges. When we talk about some of these exchanges and how big they are, I do think that LCX could get there eventually, but it's going to take some time. But if we look at some of the top 20, top 50 players, I mean, some of these players that are not that big on, on the exchange side, that are not regulated, that are not compliant, they're still very big. Like for, exa for an example, Bitru, right? Bitru has $2 billion worth of trading volume and they have 1.8 million weekly visits. Bitru is not a high quality exchange. I've talked about this in the past. They're not one of the best exchanges out there by far, but they have a ton of trading volume um, and visits on the weekly. Outside of that, you can look at some of these other players and these are not incredible exchanges, but they have a ton of volume and a ton of users. I do believe that LCX could definitely challenge a lot of those. Obviously, they're not going to challenge Binance or Coinbase at this current moment in time, but I do think that eventually they could be that big. Outside of that, though, when we look at the actual crypto assets exchange LCX, look at all of the regulations and licenses that they have as well. This is what makes them ready to be at that forefront of the regulated side of crypto, which, by the way, regulations are coming, whether we like it or not. They are going to happen. So as we really look at what's going on around tokenization and exchanges and even markets around tokenization, there has to be someone that's making the market around tokenization. LCX is very early on and they're at the forefront of that. And if they do become that big player around the tokenization markets, well, guess what? They will reap the rewards, which means LCX holders will also do that. Now, 
or anyone out there that is holding LCX, always make sure to take profits and take your initial investment out to de-risk fully. And for anybody that's sitting there saying, I wish I would have bought LCX, I'm going to FOMO in, don't do that. Make sure that you are patient and wait for major pullbacks and corrections because there will be corrections along the way. But outside of this, I do think that LCX is one of those tokens and one of those projects that everyone should have on their watch list because when we talk about some of these exchange tokens like BNB, for an example, or you know Qcoin, um, a lot of these big players like even Bitget have exchange tokens and they are in the billions of dollars when the market really hits its all-time highs. I mean, BNB right now is one of the most notable um, exchange tokens out there. And if you look at it, I mean, it has almost... $50 billion worth of market cap to it. So these exchange tokens, they move very fast, they're very big, and they're very popular um, if they are tied to a quality exchange product. Now, I do think that L6 is becoming a high quality project. It's gonna take some time. Currently speaking, right now, we are gearing up for the sixth year of innovation at LCX. This got posted back in April of 2023. This was their five years of innovation and progress. Um, April 24th, 2024 will be officially six years since the inception of LCX. And over that time, they have been fully focused on working hard and dedicated to becoming a top tier project within this space and exchange as well, making sure that they are offering the safest and most secure exchange out there. Now, again, a lot of people have concerns over the product because the product is not as high quality as most um, out there, but I do think that eventually, as time goes on, they're going to in, they're going to improve the actual exchange. I think that everyone's focused on the exchange itself. Remember, it's not just an exchange. There's a lot more behind LCX than just the exchange. But again, they have been improving it. A lot of people from the community have also been noticing this as well. Um, if you guys have been using the LCX exchange, right? Voice your opinion over on X. They will listen. The LCX team has always listened to the community. Uh, they've been focused on the community and uh, they do take feedback extremely, extremely serious. So if you have been using the exchange and if you haven't you know, found it to be you know, the highest grade quality, comment on it, talk about it. The only big thing that I have a problem with is the volume and the amount of users on LCX. I think that that's a big thing that's lacking. Um, I think that they should push the marketing a little bit more, but remember, they're not trying to market to retail. I mean, as an exchange, yeah, they should be marketing it to to uh, retail, but I think that they're more so focused on institutions and enterprises, very similar to most other altcoins. But if they are trying to have a successful exchange, they need to push the boundaries and tap into the retail market because that's going to be the blood of this, if you will. It's going to what it's going to be what allows the LCX exchange to actually be successful. Um, and if we look at some of the 24 hour trading volume on these, I mean, this is pretty low numbers, right? So when we really look at what's going on here, I personally think that they need a lot more users and a lot more volume behind the actual exchange in order for them to really kind of become a top tier project in the space around exchanges. Um, I do think that they do have one foot through the door already with compliance and regulations, but also even around tokenization, because we do know tokenization over in Europe is uh, really becoming a hot topic. And we already know, going back to December of 2022, which by the way, this was a big thing that everyone should have been focused on at that time, instead of, again, butting their own bags. Um, I talked about LCX during this time and they gained a regulatory approval as a physical validator to enable tokenization of assets. And this was a huge move um, by LCX. This is the first and only company in Liechtenstein, as well as the first company worldwide to attain this registration. And this is going to, again, allow them to become a big player around the tokenization space, which right now is red hot. Everyone is talking about tokenization. And um, I think that this is really what's going to set them apart. And for anybody who wants to know what a physical validator is, here you guys actually have it. So Liechtenstein introduced the Token and Trusted Technology Service Provider Act also known as the Blockchain Act, or in German, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Um, according to Article 2 at TVTG, the fiscal validator is defined as the following. A person who ensures the enforcement of rights in accordance with the agreement in terms of property law represented in tokens on uh, tokenized technology systems or trusted technology uh, systems. And we actually have the full breakdown of this. Again, this is what is uh, needed in order for tokenization to be realized in. And that's where Timons came in as well. This was the big launch of the Timons platform. 
Um, again, I really do think that everyone needs to focus on everything outside of the exchange as well, because there's a lot more that meets the eye with LCX. This is also why I think that LCX has a ton of offering um, and their product listings. I mean, they're they're really high quality in, in the sense of, you know, this is a lower tier project. And when I say lower tier, I, I don't mean that it's like a bad project. I mean, when we look at the market cap for it and when we look at the um, area that it is on CMC, I mean, it's in like the top 200. I think it's like somewhere in like the top 200, 250 uh, market cap wise. And for how small this project is, I mean, the product offering that they have is high quality in the scope of like the top 10 or like the top 25. It's a little bit of a different story, right? But that's why these small projects, they continue to build and you need to focus on the ones that will continue to build, continue to make a lot of noise and continue uh, to be extremely transparent with the community. And that's what LCX has been doing, which is also a number, the, the number one thing that allowed me to be extremely confident in LCX long term. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on because more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.